I'm sure most all of us that are old enough remember where we were when Neil Armstrong first stepped on the moon. And I certainly remember where I was because it was so very memorable. I was going through Navy pilot training at the time. And the quarters that we were staying in didn't have any televisions. And there were four of us that said we cannot possibly miss watching the first steps on the moon. So the four of us hopped in a car, went and rented a motel room for the night so that we'd be able to have a black and white television to watch the first men step on the moon. So I'll never forget watching that late at night on July the 16th, July the 20th, 1969, when Neil and Buzz Aldrin were the first two humans to walk on. We have had a very vibrant and thriving space program over a great many years, although a lot of people don't realize it because we're launching with the Russians now and spending time on the International Space Station. We're only launching two crews a year, where in the shuttle days we were launching seven and eight missions a year. That's all going to change pretty dramatically because we will have our own rockets again towards the end of 2018, early 2019. And those will be the Boeing CST-100 Starliner and the SpaceX Crew Dragon. So those are the commercial spaceflight operators that are gonna start carrying our astronauts to the International Space Station once again. But in addition, we are, NASA is developing the SLS, the Space Launch System, which is a rocket bigger than the Saturn V and it's going to enable us to go back to the moon and establish a lunar base and learn all the pitfalls of operating where we're only a couple days away and then use that knowledge and that experience and the SLS has the power to send us all the way to Mars. So that's our goal, that's NASA's goal, is to have Americans, to have humans on Mars and the SLS is the vehicle that's going to enable us to go there. So we have, and the SLS is going to fly um, early in 2020, 2020. So we are about to have a very exciting program um, starting up once again.